So let's start working with that data. And for that, I'll start with the authors and add a new author. And I'll add myself here, Maximilian Schwarzmuller. And we got this built-in validation, which we saw before. So if I try to save this here, I get an error because email address is required. And here it's also validating if that is an email address. And it tells me if it's not, because I did set this special field type here for a post, uh, for author, email address has this email field. That's why we get this email address validation. But now if I do add some dummy email address here, I can save this author. Now I'm not too happy with the output of the author here. So of course you learned how you can tweak this. You can override this underscore underscore stir method here in the author model or in all models. And this allows you to change how it's represented as a string, how objects based on that model are represented as a string. And here we could return first name and last name combined. And we can again create such a helper method as I also did it before in one of the course sections. We can add a full name method here where I return an F string where I have self first name, white space, self last name. And in the stir method, we just return the result of calling self dot full name like this. That's something we can do. And that is something we did before in this course as well. Now, if I save this and reload here, I have this nicer presentation. I also want to work on my posts and I want to add a new post. But before we do that, I want to add a couple of tags to work with. So here in tags, I will add a featured tag and save this and add another new tag where I say new and save and add another and add a hot tag. So that now I got three tags. And again, I'm not really happy with how this is represented here. So of course we can also go to the tag model and override this str special method here to make sure that we return self.caption. So simply the caption stored in the tag as a string representation for the overall model object. So now if we reload, we see this. Now let's work on the posts. And of course there will face a similar problem with how it's presented, but here I'll not add the stir method, but instead there I later want to tweak our admin panel a little bit as we also learned it earlier in the course. But first of all, let's add a post here and let's give it a title. And for this, I'll simply copy one of my dummy post titles I created before. So the data which we have in views py. I'll take mountain hiking as a title. And as an excerpt, I'll take this text here. Let's see if it's too long. Maybe we can use it. As an image name, I'll pick this image name, which I used before, like this. And as a slug, it would be nice if that would be auto-populated. And that's therefore also something we'll add soon. For the moment, I'll manually write it and copy that slug, which I used before. Now for the content, I want to take this content, which I have here, this dummy text and add this here. And whilst I'm here, I'll fix the line breaks so that there are some line breaks, but I don't have this strange indentation. So I'll make it like this, remove this and just copy this one more time and get rid of all those paragraphs down there. So that I have this text here and then as an author, I'll assign myself and I'll make this featured and hot. And you can select multiple values here by holding down command on Mac OS or control on windows. And then let's click save here. So now this post was saved. Now I will add a second post immediately. And again, steal my data from here. Programming is great and insert this here and add this excerpt like this. And of course also insert the image name, which I used here, which is this one. 
And at the slug, it's still not automatically created, so I'll temporarily still add it myself. And for the content, I again will use this dummy content, copy this text, paste it in there, get rid of the line breaks or these strange indentations, and just repeat this here. And again, I'll also select myself again, since I'm the only author, and make this new. We could assign more tags, but I'll just assign one tag here. Now we have two posts, and we can add a third post, but before we do that, I want to tweak the admin panel. I want to make sure that here we got multiple columns, that we can filter here on the right, and I also want to make sure that when we added a post, the slug is auto-populated. And these, of course, are all things we already did before, I just want to implement them again so that we again see them in action and we practiced what we learned.